At Friesens, we help others share their best story with the world. Think of this, every year we make over 25 million books. That's like making a book for every person in Manitoba, Ontario, and Quebec every year. That's a lot of stories we help tell. Stories of all kinds, from serious and technical books to fun and silly books. We're passionate about books, and that's why we're a proud sponsor of I Love to Read Month. Reading books offers new adventures, new knowledge, and new opportunities. Please take some time this month to enjoy a book. Thank you. Hello, I'm Chad Friesen. I'm the president of Friesen's Corporation in Altona. We are proud sponsors of I Love to Read Month, and we're in the business of helping other people share their stories with the world. And so every year, the people at Friesen's make over 25 million books, and those books are distributed all across Canada and the United States. And that's a lot of stories that we get to be a part of. Today, one of our employee owners is going to share a story with you called Fox in a Box. And we're really excited about Fox in a Box because it's written by a local author. Eva Clausen grew up in southern Manitoba and she went to school in Winkler, maybe even in your school. And so if you think about it, perhaps there's people in your class that'll grow up one day and they'll write a story just like Eva did. We also like the moral of the story. So Fox in a Box is about sharing with others. And so after you've read the book, I want you to think about, are there things in my house or things in my room that I used to enjoy, but I don't really use anymore? And maybe if I gave them over to someone else, they might get some enjoyment from it. So think about that after you've read the story. So thank you for being part of I Love to Read Month. We hope you enjoy the book and please keep reading. Hello, uh, boys and girls. Uh, today, I'll be reading a book called Fox in the Box by Eva Clausen. And my name is Frances Brady, and I work for Friesens. And if we go to the first page, the first page with a picture, in the deep, dark woods, down a long, winding road, lives a sly little creature with a long, fuzzy nose. Turn the page. Black as night, square as can be, perched on a shelf, and bulging at the seams is his box. Turn the page. Fox loves his box. Fox loves, loves everything in his box. Turn the page. He loves his socks knitted and cozy with specks and spocks for every occasion, especially long walks. Turn the page. Fox loves his rocks. Smooth and flat, sharp and round, in every color that's ever been found. Turn the page. Fox loves his blocks for stacking and building and blowing and knocking and the moment before the tower starts rocking. Turn the page. And don't forget his clocks with faces and hands, the clicks, the clocks, all with different ticks and talks. Turn the page. But before Fox knew it, a pile of things grew into a mountain of stuff. And getting into his box was getting quite tough. Turn the page. Then Fox had it. A brilliant idea. He gives some of his things to his best friend, Sophia. Turn the page. Perhaps a clock. Fox knew she had none. Turn the page. Blocks to bear, since he only had one. The squirrels, he figured, could use all his socks 
to make warm, fuzzy mittens and perhaps a few smocks. Turn the page. Fox gave and he gave, and in turn he got things that filled up his heart, but not his black box. Turn the page. A smile, a hug. Turn the page. Tea with a friend. A th thank you. Turn the, turn the page. Tears, a party to attend. With the sun sinking low and a chill in the breeze, Fox hurried back home, feeling light and at ease. Turn the page. Fox loves his box even more than before, because that's what happens when less, turn the page, becomes more. Um, thank you for reading along in Fox in the Box.